Hey. Welcome to the law school commencement ceremony for the bicentennial class of 2017. I am Martha Minow, and as Dean, it is my pleasure to welcome all guests, but most especially the members of the class of 2017 to this diploma ceremony. How grateful we all are to be together, and the heavens are crying with joy. <laughs> Congratulations, spirited, innovative class of 2017. You've made the law yours, and the world will be better for it. Thank you for bringing your talents and hard work here and to the world. This day belongs to you graduates and also to your family and friends. I invite all graduates who have gratitude for family and friends to shout at the count of three to those who support and shelter you and celebrate you. We're going to say three, and you're going to say thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. My favorite commencement address was given by the columnist Art Buckwald. He stood up, looked at the crowd, and said, I'm going to quote him in everything he said, he said, graduates, we, the older generation, are leaving you a perfect world. Don't louse it up. And then he sat down. Well, we are not leaving the graduates the world that maybe you all want. The world you find is far from perfect. One of the many challenges is our divisions in this country and around the globe. Divisions between people who identify with different nationalities, religions, races, genders, regions, political groups, news sources, and appearances. Dividing ourselves into groups based on feelings of connection with some and perhaps antipathies towards others may be an inescapable feature of human neurology because we rely on schemas and stereotypes. But across human history, group affiliations have offered meaning and comfort, and yes, also the risk of stereotyping, mistrusting, and mistreating people we see as others. You, the graduates of Harvard Law School, came here from cities and towns and rural areas across the globe. You have diverse experiences and identities, and yet you share something indelible. That something drew you to law and to the pursuit of justice for all. That something motivated you to study, debate, engage, and serve. You will always have in common this school and the experiences of bridging differences without erasing them. You may identify with different groups, but now you will forever be members of the Harvard Law School family. That means that among so many other ways to identify, you choose to use your capacities to develop rigorous ways to tell stories, to think, to express, and to convince. And that means that the friendships and memories and possibilities for connection forged here will endure for the rest of your lives. It means that you will take places where you belong and you will challenge them to be better. It means that you will question and reason and act, and it means you will contribute your lives to the shared project of making the world better. So I congratulate you, and I make this request. Please call upon and strengthen the Harvard Law School connection. Be bridge builders, be problem solvers, be advocates, be leaders. Continue to listen to and learn from one another, from others that you haven't yet met. Communicate across differences, and respect even when you disagree, then there will be no limit to not only how well you will do, but also the good you will do. As we assemble here today to celebrate our graduates, take a look around you. There is no greater assemblage of gifted, hardworking, imaginative, and well-prepared individuals anywhere in the world than the Harvard Law School class of 2017. I know you want to use your influence to better communities and the world. 
I know you will listen generously to others and dig into your talents and take risks. Remember who you want to be, and you will make a difference over and over and over again. This is a graduation for me, too, as this summer I stepped down as dean and returned full time to the faculty. So I, too, am a member of the bicentennial class. And on behalf of the entire school, let me say to the class of 2017, thank you for your vision, your questions, your energy, and your hope. What an honor it has been to share your journeys. Please stay in touch with, you, with all of us, as we will miss you. We searched the world for you, each and every one of you. And you have exceeded our hopes. Remember, working together with people both like and unlike yourselves, you will change the world. We will now begin to award diplomas to the class of 2017. Congratulations. <laughs>